In today's private pilot ground lesson 1.10, we're going to talk about load factor. You will need to know this information for your check ride and your FAA written exam. Load factor refers to the additional weight carried by the wings due to the airplane's weight plus the centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is an apparent force that acts on an object moving in a curved path, pulling it away from the center of the curve. In our aircraft, it is experienced as a sensation of being pushed outward when turning. As we discussed in our previous videos, anytime you are in straight and level flight, the lift produced goes straight up. This is called vertical lift. This means that in order to stay flying straight and level, we only need to produce enough lift to equal the weight of the airplane. We also discussed that when you roll or bank the airplane, some of the lift produced moves laterally. This is called the horizontal component of lift. So now, in this condition, we need enough lift to not only overcome the airplane's weight, but also centrifugal force, which we create when we change the direction of travel from straight and level to being in a turn because our airplane wants to keep moving straight forward and we are resisting that tendency or force in order to turn the airplane and change its flight path and attitude. When we combine our airplane's weight and the centrifugal force, we get a resultant force called load, which is measured in Gs or the force of gravity multiplied. For example, 1 G equals the weight of the airplane, 2 Gs is the weight of the airplane times 2. Because the load in a turn is greater than the weight, we need to produce more lift so that we don't descend. This is why we pull back on the yoke slightly when we are turning in order to maintain our altitude. It's important to know that the amount of excess load that can be carried by an airplane's wings varies directly with the airplane's speed and the excess lift available. At low speeds, very little excess lift is available so very little excess load can be carried. At high speeds, the lifting capacity of the wings is great enough that the load factor can more easily exceed safety limits, so the higher your airspeed, the easier it is to exceed your airplane's load limits. Also, an increased load factor means that your airplane will stall at a higher airspeed. Additionally, the greater the bank angle, the more the load factor increases, since the wings have to carry the airplane's weight, plus the additional load imposed by centrifugal force. To find the limitations for your airplane, see your POH or pilot's operating handbook. This is important because exceeding our airplane's G limits can cause structural damage or failure. On your FAA written exam, they will show you a load factor chart like this one. The amount of bank is given along the bottom of the graph and the load factor will be up the left side of the chart. The table also provides the load factor corresponding to specific bank angles. You will use this chart to answer some exam questions. You will compute the load factor by multiplying the airplane's weight by the load factor given for a specific bank angle. For example, the wings of a 1,800-pound airplane is in a 60-degree bank, so you would multiply 1,800 times 2.0, giving you a load factor of 3,600. I hope today's lesson was helpful. If so, please like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future private pilot ground school lessons. And if you're interested in doing your private pilot ground school online directly with me and have me sign you off to take your FAA private pilot written exam, please reach out at chicksuflyofficial at gmail.com.